So you've decided to pick up Ark Survival Evolved, a game about taming, breeding and riding dinosaurs on a mysterious island. You create your character, but as soon as you spawn in, this happens. So I've put together this short guide that's going to help any new player get their feet on the ground. As always, I recommend any new player starts with the island map. The island map offers 12 random spawn locations, marking north, east, south and west. And I recommend spawning in at south 1. If you spawn in on south 1, you should end up on this little peninsula here. And this is a relatively easy start zone. I'm going to cover a few other really beginner friendly starting zones in this short guide. South Spawn 1 isn't without its drawbacks. Just to my right hand side we have Weather Top where we can get Carnos and Raptors spawning. You'll also see Thenozeros. These are all very dangerous dinosaurs for a new player. And behind me you will occasionally find a Spino spawning in that location. So making your way up the beach in this direction will lead you to some relatively safe areas. As you make your way up the beach, gather what resources you can on the way and largely on this side of the map you're only going to see dodos, lystros, the odd compi and perhaps some dillos. Making your way up the side of the cliff right here next to the beach is a relatively safe location for any newbie player. And it's here that I would recommend perhaps setting up your first shop. A little bit further on from that cliff you'll find this rocky outcrop. There is a Helena note here which will give you an experience boost and you're relatively safe from any creatures here. Again you might find the odd compi or dillo but getting to the back of these rocks and where the explorer note is you're going to be relatively safe and again this is a nice friendly beginner zone. So there's a couple of locations for south spawn one that you can head to immediately. I'm also going to suggest spawning on the west coast. Again, there's a peninsula here, which is relatively safe. You may find the odd sarco, but for the most part, they're all going to be herbivores on this side of the island. And again, this is only a beginner start. Where you put down your first base and your first foundations isn't necessarily where you're going to end up in the game. But you will need a place to get some materials crafted and a base of operations so you can get a bed and a few storage chests down. If you make your way up the west coast of the island map you'll eventually come to this willow tree and outcrop of rocks. Much beyond this it does get a little bit more difficult. Just beyond this point is a place called Brawler's Bay where a lot more of the bigger carnivores can spawn and you will need to have a little bit of fortitude. But the west coast is a relatively good friendly starter zone. I have made a separate guide on where's the best place to spend your points and how to build your stats. So if you haven't seen that video go and check that one out. But for the most part I start off with weight. As with all survival games the first thing you need to do is get food and water. And as a new player without any fortitude you will suffer the effects of weather so it's advisable that you craft yourself some basic cloth armour just to protect yourself from the elements and give you a little bit of armour and durability. After getting your basic campfire down and some food on the go I recommend making a storage crate. Now you can store all of the wood and stone that you're collecting and wander around the island without being encumbered. The first bottleneck that a new player is going to run it into is hide. Gathering hide is going to be quite easy up the top here and always remember that the hatchet will gather you more hide than the pickaxe. After establishing a basic campsite it's advisable to get yourself a little thatch hut down. Now of course the thatch doesn't do much good, it won't protect you from many dinosaurs and players but at least you'll have a place to spawn back in. And all of the building parts that you're making here is going to contribute towards getting more levels. Next placing down a bed and a mortar and pestle, this way you've got a place to spawn back if you die. And we're going to need to make up some narcotics. It's not until you reach level 21 that you can actually craft narcotic arrows but it is possible to tame dinosaurs before that. If you've got a bowler you can simply punch out a lower level parasaur. 
and using a club is even more effective for knocking a creature out. Later on in the game you're going to be able to grow vegetables and craft different recipes that are going to be more effective for taming herbivores, but at the beginning of the game the Mejo Berry is the most effective taming berry you can use to grab herbivores with. Now granted the Parasaur is not the most effective dinosaur on the map, it's definitely a very early game tame and I tend to use them just to gather hide. But using a Parasaur will help you gather more berries and more importantly Narco berries which is something you'll be gathering by hand without the use of a herbivore. Another early game tame I know people like to grab is the Mossa Chops, but I tend to leave these guys alone. It depends very much on whether they're asking for a food that you might have, but more often than not, they're going to ask for something a little bit more advanced than a Mejo Berry. A Parasaur is not the most effective way to go around killing creatures on the map, but it will serve its purpose just for gathering some of the smaller creatures hide. But to gather anything more advanced than the early game tames, you're going to need to make some narcotic. You can simply make this from spoiled meat, and if you split a stack of meat, you can spoil meat even quicker. Narcotics can be crafted in the mortal and pestle, and you're going to need this to be able to make trank arrows. Your next bottleneck is going to be at level 21. You won't be able to craft Trank Arrows until you hit level 21, so taking out anything more advanced than the Parasaur before this is going to be a little bit difficult. The first early game Carnivore that you can tame would be the Raptor. His saddle can be unlocked at level 18 and it's a relatively easy tame. I always recommend keeping bowlers on your hotbar just in case you come across one of these guys because they can run upon you quite quickly. But again, they're a simple tame as I demonstrate here. The bowler will break eventually, but if you follow the creature long enough, it should have been hit with enough trank arrows to knock it out. The carnivore, of course, takes raw meat to be able to tame. And now that you have a basic carnivore and herbivore, you're going to be able to get around the map a little bit easier. Over on the opposite island from South Spawn 1, there is three explorer notes. If you grab these notes while you're on a dinosaur, both the dinosaur and player will be able to take advantage of this short XP boost. And it's definitely a way to power level quickly. These experience boosts will stack and I recommend grabbing a few basic ones just to push your levels on even further. It's at this point in the game that you're only locked out by what level you are and the higher level you are, the more saddles you'll be able to craft. Technically speaking, you could knock out a T-Rex at the beginning of the game once you have some Trank Arrows, but you're going to have to wait until level 55 before you can make the saddle. So that covers my beginner's guide to Ark Survival Evolved, and if you're new here then consider subscribing. I do have many more Ark Survival guides and tips and tricks for you. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.